Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Control for Skyrim on the Xbox. What is this mod? What does it do? How do you use it? Is it worth using? It's been recommended to me on the channel here a lot, so I figured I'd make a video about it because there is a little bit involved in how to actually use it. We're going to take a look at all of those things coming up, but if you enjoy the video, definitely feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like down below if you get something out of it. I'll have timestamps in the description, and there are chapters on the video that you can scrub through and go to a particular spot if you want to see a particular part of the video rather than watch the whole thing over again. Thank you so much for watching, and let's jump into the video. So what actually is the mod Control, and why is it spelled Control with a K rather than Control C. I can't answer that second question, but Control is actually a mod that you can actually map any of your items to the D-pad as well as some actual shortcuts for things like your map, your inventory, even your favorites list. And there's also a really handy auto run feature as well. This is a lot to take in all at once, so that's what this video is for. But look at the kind of things that you can actually do with this mod. As you can see there, there's numbers next to the corresponding items. Those are mapping those particular items to things things on your d-pad which is what we're going to be looking at in this next section. So you have normal shortcuts with this mod but then you also have things that you can map to the d-pad. There's a shift option as well so you can pretty much double the amount of items you can map to your d-pad by using a shift button. This gives you a lot of options and a lot of control over your character. So let's look at some of those combinations and look at how to actually map things to the d-pad. This section is going to be all about using control and some of your quick actions, which are button combinations that you already have access to once you install the mod. These button combos are going to help you navigate your main kind of inventory screen with your map and everything, but then the d-pad is where we're actually going to assign particular items so we don't have to go into those menus in order to get to them. The face button combos are LB and A, which is going to bring up your map. LB, B is going to bring up your inventory. LB, X is going to bring up your magic. And LB, Y is actually going to bring up your favorites. You can also load and save. So if you press LB and then the view button or the select button formerly on the old Xbox controller, it's actually going to load your last quick save. It doesn't appear to be a way to actually change this and what it actually loads. So just FYI, if you press that button, you're going to be taken to your last quick save and as you can expect you can also quick save as well by pressing lb and then the hamburger button or the start button now using one of those combos go ahead and bring up your inventory we're going to actually need to favorite items and this is how we're going to actually map things to our d-pad we're going to favorite all the things that we think we might want to add to our d-pad as a quick access item rather than hit the d-pad and bring up that menu like it used to we're actually just going to press that button and boom we have our item so my quick access items that i would want would be a sword shield some type of healing and a bow great thing about this mod also is that you can actually do anything in your items you can even unequip things and just assign that to the d-pad so if maybe you had a potion or something you could do that or you could actually unequipped armor you could equip armor whatever you want to do with it the choice is yours so now it comes to the fun part go ahead and press lb and y to bring up your favorites menu and this is where we're actually going to assign our hotkeys which are the d-pad buttons so they go one two three and four and then i'll have a graphic up on the screen to actually show you which button goes to which number so if you want something like the potion map to one, you're gonna to wanna to actually press up on the D-pad in order to map it to one. And you don't need to use all of these if you don't want to. After this part, I'll show you an example of how I have mine set up. LB is gonna be your shift button and that basically makes it so that the D-pad is five, six, seven, and eight. Still clockwise, so it's not as confusing. And here's this graphic here so you don't get confused. So here's an example of how I have mine set up. I want a sword, a shield, a bow, and then also a healing item. I have a Daedric sword map to the right D-pad, so I can go from having Dragon Ren, pull out a Daedric sword, and then if I need the shield with it too, I can just press left on the D-pad and boom, I have my shield map to the left D-pad. Down on the D-pad, let me just pull out my bow, that's what I have that map to. And then I can heal myself if I press up on the D-pad, because I have a healing potion map to that. If you want to unequip something, I would just press the corresponding button on the d-pad to unequip it. 
And one of my favorite features is the auto run button. You can actually auto run, but then you can also auto move forward. If you start moving forward, press your shift button, so LB and then left stick down, you're actually gonna start auto moving forward. And then if you wanna sprint, you just press the LB again, and then you're just gonna be in auto sprint mode. Now the only way to turn this off is actually to hold down LB again and then press down on the left stick, and then you'll be able to stop. And that's going to do it for this video. I wanted to go through control and just go over every little detail of it to let you know how to use it. It might be a little daunting when you see a bunch of hotkeys and like that really big long description, but it's warranted. I mean, there's a lot to this mod and the mod author did a fantastic job of explaining it all. So I was able to put this video together with those instructions and hopefully it was easy for you to follow if you haven't been using control already. If you end up downloading control and trying it out, let me know what kind of combos you're using down below what kind of hotkeys you're using or if you're content with just using the shift button and the face buttons in order to get to your inventory and map easy that's fine too let me know in the comments down below i will see you all in the next video have a great one everybody and thanks so much for watching